guys welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be doing a blu-ray hunt video for you guys so you guys will see what I picked up within the week uh, the reason for it cuz I couldn't do a blu-ray hunt video there was actually um, the freeway was closed down for about two hours and um, I didn't know when they were gonna open up the freeway back up so yeah I couldn't do that blu-ray hunt video for you guys so uh, let's get into this blu-ray hunt if you guys are this is your first time clicking on this video or my channel um, welcome to the channel if you guys want to subscribe down below i would much appreciate it also give the video a like and don't forget guys comment down below what you guys picked up for the week so yeah the big one was going to be uh godzilla versus kong for the first time coming on physical media um so yeah i'm going to start off with the uh it's just going to be so random because i got blu-ray still books and a couple 4ks so they're just going to be all over the place so uh first one i picked up sicario this was the Target exclusive, the still book. I liked it more than the Best Buy exclusive one. It actually has the characters on there. And um, so yeah, I'm all for it when it has the characters on there. And this one was only 20 bucks, so not bad for a still book. Uh, it also has the Lionsgate like clear case on the still book. I do like that. And um, yeah, I wonder what Target's gonna be doing. Cause like I heard rumor that supposedly they're gonna get rid of their physical media in about a week or so so who knows but they are pushing out some exclusive still books so it's kind of confusing what's going on so hopefully not and yeah uh next one i picked up uh blu-ray wayne's world uh classic mike myers movie right here uh came out in 92 so i was born 91 but i did have this on vhs growing up as a kid i used to watch this a lot and uh, I kind of forgot it actually, so I'm gonna have to refresh my mind on it. Uh, but I remember liking this growing up as a kid, so I definitely want to have it in my collection. And I know there's a number two, so I might have to hunt that one down as well. So yeah, Wayne's World. Next one up is Timeline. I've been wanting to pick this one up. I watched this, uh, I remember renting this at the rental store when it first came out, uh, 2003. Uh, it has Paul Walker, uh, it also has, um, What's his name? Uh, Gerard, uh, Gerard Butler. Um, so yeah, kind of one of the earlier films, uh, especially for Paul Walker. I think this was after Fast and the Furious, but pretty much it's like them going back in medieval times and they have to save the future. So there's the back. You can kind of get some pictures of the movie. But yeah, I was like seven bucks on Amazon. So if you're interested in these type of movies, check it out. Uh, probably one of Paul Walker's um, unheard movies probably I've never heard people talk about it so uh, another one of uh, Gerard Butler and I heard good things about this one Greenland finally picked it up uh, has a slipcover so I know this slipcover is kind of hard to find uh, disaster movie right here I hear a lot of good things on this movie I think I heard like uh, one person said it was not good but other than that I hear a lot of people say it's good so um, We'll check it out. I only got it for five bucks, so can't complain. Yeah. All right, next one is gonna be a Studio Ghibli movie. It's called Princess uh, Mono, uh, let's see, Mono Noke. It's, uh, I've never seen this movie. I've only seen um, Spirit Away from Studio Ghibli, and I enjoy that one. That's probably gonna be my favorite one, I'm guessing, because I'm not sure how these ones are, but I know Studio Ghibli is like really popular, so. We'll see how it goes. Next one up is Children of the Sea. This is a G Kids film, uh, another animated film, but uh, I'm sure it looks like it's gonna be a good movie. It has good animation in this, and when it's underwater stuff, it looks cool with all like the fishes and the stuff like that, so. We'll see how this one is as well. All right, next up is City of Lies with Johnny Depp. Um, this is going to be about who shot Biggie. So it's like the, I think they're trying to solve the crime of Biggie, the murder of Biggie. So yeah, I'm really excited to see Johnny Depp back and see what, how his acting is now. Cause it's been a while since I watched Johnny Depp. So I hear his role in this is pretty good. So can't wait to watch this one. This was the big one for, uh, this Tuesday and that's uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Um, enjoyed this in the movie theater as my first movie coming back to the movie theater and I really enjoyed it uh, I wish they would have showed Godzilla a bit more it was more focused on Kong so it's kind of like his movie but 
I did enjoy it. I did enjoy the last fight between them. But uh, yeah, Godzilla all day. Really like the slipcover. I think this is probably the best edition from the Steelbook and um, all the exclusives they had, like the Blu-rays. I love this artwork the best. So the colors are just really nice. Uh, yeah, and you got them, you know, fighting each other right here. So I'm sure this is gonna look amazing in 4K. Does it have Dolby? It has Dolby Atmos as well. So I'm sure that's gonna be uh, good for the sound system. All right, I picked up the Denzel Washington film, Equalizer 2. I didn't have this in my collection. I still have to hunt down number one. So I found this with the slip cover and I decided to pick it up. Um, haven't watched it yet. And I know it's like uh, one of Denzel Washington's good films out there, like John Wick, but uh, definitely want to watch it. But I got to pick up number one first before I can give this a watch, but happy to have this in the collection, so. All right, and this one is a, a perfect planet. Uh, I've never picked this up in my 4K collection, any of these type of films, like uh, documentaries, but I hear they like uh, they look really nice in 4K, so I really want to see how they look in 4K. Uh, this was $5 as well, so can't go wrong with it. I like seeing uh, you know documentaries on sharks and wolves and all that cool stuff, so we'll see how this goes. All right, another Blu-ray I picked up, Jay, Jay and Silent um, Bob Reboot. Um, haven't seen this one as well. I decided, why not? It's, it says it's like about them going to like a Comic-Con or something like that. So that sounds pretty interesting. I go to a lot of conventions and stuff, but you, hear, you can see a lot of cosplays right here. Well, it has the Comic-Con right here. I believe that's what they're going to do, but yeah. I like the slipcover too. I like the artwork right here. Five dollars for the film, might as well. All right, here's a still book. Um, this is a still book I actually do like. I love the colors, Atomic Blonde. Um, I don't see this one at Target anymore, so the guy I buy movies from actually had it, and he was selling it for five bucks. So I decided, why not? The still book, slipcover, are um, still sealed, so can't go wrong with that. I could probably sell the coat too, and it'll probably be free. But uh, yeah, I love this artwork. I love the colors on that. Um, yeah, I'm hearing this is like the female John Wick. So I'm gonna have to give this one a watch. All right, and then um, we did. Uh, I did pick up the Promising Young Woman finally. Uh, I know the slipcover is hard to find. So he had it there for $5 and I finally picked it up. Excited to watch this one. I hear good things on this one, so yeah. I'm gonna have to probably give this a watch pretty soon. And then, finally, the last pickup, uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift on 4K. I didn't have the 4K, I actually only had Blu-ray. So I finally completed Fast and the Furious on 4K, um, the individual 4Ks at least. So yeah, I'm gonna get this slipcover probably from a guy on Instagram that does custom slipcovers. So yeah, don't worry about that, but yeah. My favorite of the franchise right here, strictly about racing, and that's what this franchise should have stayed on, but you know how they are with the Fast and the Furious, so. All right, guys, so that's gonna be my uh, update on my Blu-rays. Let me know down below what you guys like that I picked up, and anything that you guys picked up this week. Don't forget to give this video a like. I appreciate you guys watching this till the end, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.